When do you change water? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> Never. Well, hello. Come right on in. You're at Father Fish. I bet you never really thought much about water. What do we know about water? Well, we say water is clean, or we say water is dirty, we say water is healthy, we say water is polluted, all kinds of ways we describe water. But when we do that, what are we really saying? You see, we're not talking about water. We're talking about what is in the water. What is in the water it's, is what makes it polluted or healthy or whatever. Water is very simple. It is two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. There's nothing to it. <laughs> three atoms of air. And, and not just any air, but very pure air. Pure hydrogen. Pure oxygen. Combined to create pure water. That pure water doesn't have a pH. It's neutral. It's zero. Doesn't go up, doesn't go down. Oh, we put it at seven on the scale, but it's not seven of anything. It is zero of anything. It is nothing that makes it either acid or alkaline. It is nothing. It is zero. Now, let's look at the fish tank. Why is it that we change water? Well, we change it because it's gone bad. What does that mean, gone bad? Or to, or to keep it from going bad, what's worse? We get rid of good water, put in questionable water, because the good water might go bad if we don't. That's a form of insanity, I believe. There is madness in the fish-keeping hobby. And changing water all the time is one very distinct aspect of that madness. You see, if you begin to get a sense that this aquarium is very much a living environment, and that it's an environment that, that grows, it develops, it matures, and along with it, the water, we can say, matures. It becomes more capable of supporting life. It becomes hardier in a, in, in a, in a very real sense. There are organic materials living and growing in water that develop over generations into more and more sophisticated, more and more stable creatures. They provide a foundation for the higher orders of animals living in the water. So, let's answer the question. When do you change water? When do you change water? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> Never. Never change your water. You may need at times to pull some out. You may. If you've got a major problem in there, it may be the only way to get that problem out is to take some water out with it. And that's fine. Just do it. Now, one thing you can do when you take the water out, you can, uh, you can put it in a container and let it settle out. Just don't do anything to it. Just let it sit there. You'll find that in a matter of days, it will be crystal clear and all the gunk will have gone to the bottom. That water that's sitting there crystal clear is perfectly good water. It is now aged water. It is better water than, than what comes out of the spigot, you see. <laughs> 
what does it mean for water to be old? Well, it means that there are a variety of compounds and elements, minerals, organics in that water that, that create a stability and a harmony and a balance and a healthfulness that's good for the whole system. Now, why do we want to get rid of beneficial stuff that's in the water? Well, we don't. We don't. I mean, let's just take something simple, beneficial. Suppose there are enough carbonates in the water to maintain a pH of 7.5, and we have determined that that is the most effective pH for the animals and plants and other organics living in the tank. So why would we get rid of water that is sitting at 7.5 and introduce water that has another pH, whatever it is? Water retains electromagnetic impulses that are given off by its inhabitants. Think about that. The water retains the electromagnetic impulses that are given off naturally and normally by living matter in the water. So the water becomes simpatico, it becomes harmonious with its inhabitants on every level it becomes at one. And as the animals and the water mature, they become more stable, more secure. They become more healthy. They become, in a real sense, one with each other. I know that I can take an old fish out of a body of water that it has grown up in and it will not likely survive being placed in another container of water. Unique water, different water, not the water it came out of. It will die. It doesn't matter how clean that water is, how pure that water is, how free it is of one thing or another. The fish will die. It will suffer, struggle, fade, and die. It, it, is, it has become one with the water it is in to such an extent that it has no ability to sustain itself out of that water in some other unique body of water. Old water. I'm an old man. I'm 82 years old. I'm an old man. I've learned to appreciate old things because they have a kind of maturity about them, a kind of ability to handle things, if you will, at best, at best. And water is among them. Old water. Save all your old water. It's like gold. Be sure to come over and visit us on Discord. We're having a lot of fun over there, and we're learning a lot of things and sharing a lot of things. A lot of friendship. Sharing a lot. And caring a lot. Join us. Be sure to visit father.fish. That's right, father.fish. That's our website. We have a store on our website and we sell things like rotten leaves. It's true, we do. <laughs> we sell a, a, a soil mixture additive that has a miraculously wonderful combination of minerals, organics, and, and other material in it that you can use to supplement your soil when you set up a father fish system. Lots of things. Visit. Be a part of our be a part of our shoal. 
and we will celebrate your presence among us. Love you all. Bye for now.